This might be the most dangerous thing a trader can do when buying stocks. Do you remember Rivian, the Tesla killer that was supposed to do so well? Well, in the last five years, this stock is down 92%. And I felt like this was a great chart to show where I love to talk about stocks that are having a big move up and they consolidate and then boom, a breakout with above average volume. The funny thing about this chart is that this is inverted. Rivian is now hitting new all-time lows and it's going lower and it might recover. I personally believe that stocks like this do have a good chance of recovering, but here's the problem. Buy when others are fearful, right? Sell when others are greedy. How scared are Rivian shareholders right now? probably shaking in their boots. You wanna load up here, you wanna buy low, sell high, how much lower is Rivian going to go? So the most dangerous thing, in my opinion, for a trader to do when buying stock is to average down and buy lower and lower. So for example, I bought 100 shares at $10. Okay, well, man, this is going down to eight. This is going to seven, let me buy 100 more, 1,000 more, 5,000. It's not a good idea. And I never want to come off as some guru. If this is your first time here, I want to come off as someone that you can potentially trust. I put half a million dollars in this stock and I said I'm going to hold it till 2025 when they're doing daily rocket launches. This is Astra Space. The stock went from 150 to 250 and my $500,000 went up to almost a million and now it's came all the way down to 56 cents. This was a YouTube challenge, but imagine if I kept averaging down, averaging down. I'm gonna lose all of my money. There's no chance for me to recover. And the reason why I wanna bring this up is because this is a comment that I get a lot where people say they average down or, hey, dead inside, you told me about a stock two years ago that I really like and I've been averaging down ever since and I just broke even today. That was actually a comment I got yesterday and that's why I wanted to address this video because this can be deadly. Now look at ticker symbol DJT, Trump Media, Donald Trump is going to be possibly sending this stock a lot higher in the future. But this is now down from its highs in at the end of March, March 26th, till now this is down 60%. 60% in le less than a month. So imagine everyone who's getting their average cost down. And yes, again, this can go higher, but it's better to get into stocks that can have a move higher. And today, at the time of this recording, the market had a huge reversal. And the only thing that I saw that looked good was ticker symbol FIP. This is a stock that's having a big move up, it's trying to consolidate, and bam, big move up. This is, this is now hitting, I believe, new all-time highs. This is so much safer to get into because what are the chances you're timing the top? The trend is going higher. It could go a lot higher. What are the chances that you are buying the bottom when it's trending lower? Just think of a weatherman who has the Doppler radar and he's trying to look at the precipitation in the area and he can see that, oh, the, the, the storm is moving in this direction. The storm is going here. What are the chances that, oh, okay, now it's gonna reverse? which can happen. This is another stock that I recently talked about and I got in it and I lost money. It was Krispy Kreme. They announced that they were gonna be partnering with McDonald's nationwide. Huge move up, tons of volume. Everything looked perfect, big move down. And why I really remember this is because I always have my stop loss set. Well, in this example, I lowered my stop loss a little bit and I was like, you know, I think maybe it's gonna bounce at this level and I lowered it, I got crushed, lost a ton of money regardless of our conviction, our confidence, our comfort with knowing that we're in a name that everybody knows like Rivian or Tesla for that matter, you always want to set a stop loss because you never know how much lower these can go. And I'm saying this with love. I'm really saying this so that people don't get hurt. You really want to understand where to set a stop loss. So for example, this stock Tesla, for example, I really want to get into stocks that are going higher. But let's just say I'm just dying to get into Tesla. Well, if I get in at this level here, this $155 area, I might set a stop loss at, I, I might not wanna lose, let's say two, more than 2% on this stock or 2.5%. So I might set my stop loss at $151. Get in at $155 and set my stop loss at 151. For example, it's a lot easier to get into stocks that are trending up. Now this is a stock that could potentially bounce at a certain level 
And what's bad about this is that you're trying to time the bottom and that can be very difficult. The good news is you always know where you're gonna wanna set your stop loss. Today, no matter when you're watching this video, whenever the S&P 500 gets near the 50 day moving average on the daily chart, that's what this level is right here, The this light purple line, this is the 50 day moving average, we might see a bounce. The S&P 500 likes to occasionally bounce on the 50 day moving average on the daily chart. Now here's an example of back testing. Here's an example of not listening to me, not listening to anybody. Just listen to the charts, look at the historical patterns that stocks have made in the past, and let's see what the S&P 500 has done in the past whenever it gets near the 50 day moving average. So again, this is SPY, the S&P 500 on the daily. A lot of times you can see here, it likes to bounce on the 50 day moving average. You can see on March 24th, 2021, boing, boing, boing. It, it might go a little bit lower, but generally for the most part, the S&P 500 can sometimes bounce at this area. And at the very least, you know where you're gonna have an idea of where you wanna get out of it, where you're gonna set your stop loss. And here's a really interesting chart, and I, I love this. So whenever you're looking at the monthly chart, this is the pandemic lows. Look at how the S&P 500 will find support on uh, near these, these moving averages, right? The 100 day moving average, the 50 day moving average. Again, this is the monthly chart. And if this sounds like a completely different language to you, I have just created a new development series and it's called the Introduction to Swing Trading and I translate all this potential technical jargon. The link will be in the description and it gives you a good understanding of what I'm looking for whenever I'm trading live and I'm telling people what I'm buying, where I'm setting my stop loss, why I'm entering a certain position, why I'm selling it, why am I getting out of it. It is just a good way to kind of get your feet wet on the topic of swing trading. But I can't stress enough how dangerous it can be when you're averaging down on losing stocks. So I'm bringing up this example here, Tilray, they just announced earnings a couple days ago. I saw some people buying the dip. Now the stock's going lower and lower because let's just think about it. Maybe big money is getting out of it on day one, day two, day three, day four. They have to scale out of it. They might have so much money that they can't get, they can't empty their entire position in one day. It might take several weeks, maybe months to get out of this. So Tilray might be going under a dollar and these marijuana related names have a lot of retail trader interest. You might think that you're buying low to sell high or you're supposed to buy when others are fearful and sell when others are greedy, but it's not that simple. In terms of the S&P 500, hey, that might be another thing. Generally over time, money is coming into the top 500 publicly traded companies in the United States. I'm just talking about particular stocks that might be losers. Be careful, trade smart. If you'd like to know what I'm buying and selling in real time, get text alerts. Check out deadinside.com. Regardless, I'll try my best to keep you guys updated in video format. Thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks guys, peace.